Queensland crossover, just some different drills and things to keep in mind. Um, I'm sure you know already, but the Queensland crossover looks like this. It's a four crack pattern that goes overhead, overhead, reverse overhead, reverse overhead, and my bottom arm is my leading arm, so my, lead, my bottom arm always goes first. Some people call these cracks uh, flicks instead of reverse overheads, and I think the reason for that is because technically a reverse overhead would be that sort of crack rather than this sort of crack. Um, but to me, a flick is like this, and so this crack is sort of somewhere in between those two things, and yeah, I just, I just choose to call it the reverse overhead, but whatever someone calls it, it's the same thing, it's this sort of, this crack here. So it's bang, 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 bang. That's the Queensland crossover. Um, the easiest and best drill, in my opinion, is to do it at the same time, this way. Uh, that's how I learned, and that's how most people learn. And to do that, you just keep your arms going at the same time. You do two overheads and two reverse overheads. Uh, a lot of people will have trouble with this, and there's a, a number of reasons why, which I guess I'll go into now. So the first is that people will do an overhead crack and think it looks like this. They put their hand over their head, because logically, overhead crack means my hand should be over my head. But actually, it's only the whip that needs to be over your head, specifically the thong of your whip. And so you can see in my Queensland crossover, my hands are actually quite low. Uh, a lot of the time they're below my chin. Uh, and the reason for this is because I have my handle pointed up so that the thong will still stay above my head, but my hand can stay below my head. So I have the, the handle pointed at you know, maybe 45 degrees, maybe more, maybe less. And this just ensures that the whip stays up here and my hand is down here. And that stops me from having to you know, do this crossover up above my head where you can see it's easy for my hands to get in the way of each other, for my whips to tangle, or the second thing that people do, which causes tangles in this pattern, is they'll have their arms at the same height, um, and as you can see, my handles are pointing, you know, more or less to the same place, so logically, the whips will go to the same place and then they'll tangle. So the way to stop this is to make a conscious effort and keep one hand lower than the other hand. Bang, 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 bang. So my right arm, the lead arm, you know, is a fair bit lower than my left arm, and that's going to help stop the whips from tangling. The other thing that you can do is just put a very slight stagger in this pattern. So my arms will move at the same time, but then I'm going to crack the right first, bang bang, like that, and at the same time, and then bang bang, bang bang, bang bang. Uh, and that's just going to help give the whips a little bit of different timing and then hopefully stop them from tangling. So those are three ways to stop tangles in this pattern. Um, and then once you have this pattern, you know, fairly confidently, you're just going to increase the stagger in the whips until eventually you're doing the real Queensland crossover, or the southern crossover, depending on who you talk to. Another pattern that you can use is sort of a, it's like cross, cross, uncross, uncross. So my dominant hand is gonna start swinging across my body, and as it is in front of me, my non-dominant hand is gonna swing up and over it, and then you can see I'm in this sort of X position, ready for the overhead and the overhead. So you just crack out of it. There, there, bang, bang. And then once you're confident with that, you could add in a third crack, and then, you know, your fourth crack. So that's a good pattern. Um, some people like it, some people don't. It kind of depends if you like to drill things and work up to it, or if you just want to, you know, get going. <laughs> um, another pattern and drill that I like is a little bit harder, but it's going to start you at a different point in the Queensland crossover. So instead of the point where you're doing, you know, the same crack as, um, after it itself, so overhead, overhead, reverse overhead, reverse overhead, this drill will start you reverse overhead, 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 reverse overhead. Um, and so it kind of feels like you're doing two different cracks all the time, uh, which, you know, some people like, some people don't like. So you're going to start with Calvin's cracks in balance time. And your non-dominant hand, the hand that you want to be on the top, is going to crack first. And after this crack, swing up for a reverse overhead. So similar to how you change planes with just one whip, you might do a Callan's crack and then swing it up here for your reverse overhead. That's exactly what your left arm is going to do. Bang. Uh, your right arm is going to go Callan's crack and then come up for an overhead crack, which is a little bit unorthodox because normally from here, you know, you want your arm to continue backwards, but you're just going to 
keep your arm continuing this direction, but bring it on the other side of your body. And that's going to make it want to swing up for an overhead crack. So bang, 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 bang. And now you've gotten into that position that I talked about. So I'm just kind of following my left arm with my right arm. It comes up for this reverse overhead, then I do the overhead. And then from here, I can do the overhead on my left, and then reverse over on my right, and then reverse overhead over there. Um, so your, left, your right arm, your bottom arm is still technically leading. It's just your left arm has started one crack you know, before your right arm has started in the pattern. So that way it feels like your left arm might be leading a little, but it is still technically your bottom arm that's in charge. It's just your left arm you know, started early. So those are three drills. Um, one thing that I should say too is a lot of people will do the Queensland crossover, but they'll kind of do it incorrectly. Um, you'll see it and it'll look like this. So you can see my, my palms are facing down the whole time. And I think a lot of people do it this way because it, it just can feel a little bit easier. Um, and they think that this sort of it, it is a lot more complex. And it kind of is, but, but it's actually quite easy if you, you know, break it down into it, its smallest parts. So what I'll do is I would say if, if you get comfortable doing it this way and you want to switch to doing it the proper way, focus on one arm. And after you've done your overhead crack, try and just turn your palm up. And you'll notice when you do that, turning your palm up will make your arm bend uh, as it comes back. And so I'll go, turn up, bang, and then turn down, bang. So just focus on, on yeah, turning that arm. And I would say do one arm at a time just to see how it feels, and then do the other one. Um, and then eventually you can do both. Bang, 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 bang. And that's your Queensland crossover. So yeah, that's something to work on if, if that's your problem. And those are three drills. I'll cover them again really quick. So the first is same time. Make sure to keep your hands at different heights. Your cross, cross, uncross, uncross. Cross, cross, uncross, uncross. And finally the bang, bang, reverse, overhead. Bang, bang, reverse, overhead. That third drill is also really good for if you're just doing sort of patterns down here and then you want to get into the overhead uh, or the, sorry, the Queensland crossover, you know, that's a, that's a really easy way of doing it. Yeah, that's the Queensland crossover and some tips and stuff. Send me a message or comment on the video or whatever if you want to know more and uh, good luck.